Hello YouTube, it's me, your boy B3, back with another kicking action figure review. I guess this is more of a toy review, definitely really not an action figure. It is of the Power Rangers Dino Charge Deluxe Dino Saber. Yes, I do believe they reissued it for Dino Supercharge. Uh, I got this at Kmart on clearance. They were clearancing out some of quote-unquote old Power Ranger stuff to make way for the new Power Ranger stuff. So I got this, the first uh, Deluxe Dino Saber, for only $20. It's normally around 30 in my area, so... Yeah, in fact, the whole reason I didn't get it sooner is because I didn't want to pay 30 for it. I wanted it to go on sale. I actually got uh, the Morpher on clearance as well. Like, as soon as it came out, though, which was super crazy, but I didn't review it for a while. I never had the opportunity to. But yeah, so you'll get to see uh, them combine later. That'll be pretty cool, right? It better be. <laughs> but yeah, here it is. I've been wanting this saber. Uh, my only complaint is that it's too short. I mean, obviously, they made it for kids. If you want them, if you want your toys to be bigger and more cosplayish, get the Japanese version. However, the Japanese versions are often very pricey because they're the Japanese versions. The American versions work, and you know the size actually works when you combine them anyways, because the blade's longer in the show, but it's shorter after the combination. You'd have to have interchangeable blades for it to be really accurate, uh, in my opinion. But it's whatever, who cares? Life's a scam, no one's ever gonna be happy. Uh, but it's really cool. Uh, it has many features, many sounds. Uh, there's like a little trigger right here on the hand, so. Pretty cool, right? Lights up, makes sounds. Couldn't find it on off switch. <laughs> Guess it's not like the Morpher. It does come with uh, Green Rangers, Battery, bada bing, bada boom. I like the batteries. Brave in! Uh, they brave in in the Japanese show, Zuden Sentai Kyuujur. Highly recommend watching it. Uh, this battery kind of doesn't want to just go straight in like it does in the uh, Morpher. And yeah, that's the noise it makes. I'm sorry about the cows. Apparently, they're working cows outside my place. But then you press the button. See, so you get different sounds. Changes it when you got that in there. Uh, but I mean, you push it in, and then there's a button right here on the side. You just... Pops right out. Uh, maybe not right out. But, uh, yeah, pretty cool. And then if you want to do the Kizzy combination... Uh, ah! You just press this, and then this will fold over. And then you have this little thing right here, push it down, this folds back, so you get it like this, and then take this sucker, and you pop it open, uh, just for gigs, you gotta turn that on, bada bing, bada boom, you slide these in, boom, there you go, big old gun that normally Purple Ranger uses to kind of differentiate her character. <laughs> I actually don't know what they've been doing with her on Super Dino Charge. I'm, most of what I've seen is Power Rangers uh, Dino Charge and Zuden Sentai Cure You Chair. But yeah, this is how it looks combined. I actually think it looks quite good. To be totally honest with you guys, I think it looks pretty cool. I think it looks pretty friggin' cool. Yeah. I mean, I, re I really do like it. I, I might just... I think I'm going to display it like this. To be totally honest, I think that's how it's going to be displayed. Because uh, it stands up pretty well. I can put that up against the wall like that. It's going to look nice. Uh, pull that trigger there. Very nice. You know, this still does its thing. Makes all its sound effects and whatnot. Pretty cool, right? It's a... Uh, it's a cool toy. It is a pretty cool toy. I, I will admit, it's very awesome. I believe at some point in the show they also extend the blade to stab peeps, so that's pretty cool. Now here's a size comparison of the two weapons you've seen so far. Pretty cool. Here it is with a bladed weapon, this time from the Legacy line, is the Legacy Dragon Dagger. And lastly, one of my all-time favorite collectibles, the Legacy Saba Sword. 
So yeah, this might not be the biggest, you know, roleplay sword in the world, but I still think it's pretty cool. You know, you got sound effects. Transformation combination ability comes with a battery. You know, fun for kids and adults alike. It's a very neat collectible, and uh, I do recommend it, but not for $30. <laughs> so yeah, that's it, you guys. Thank you all very much for your support. Please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, whatnot. And that is it. Thank you all once again. I'll see you all later.